Today I'm talking a little bit about placebo and why it might be misunderstood and how it's actually a very powerful tool that we can use. Hey guys, welcome back to Tifro, it's me Matt here and today I'm talking about something else that came up in the Lucid Dreaming livestream recently and this is placebo. Uh, Dr. Keith Hearn actually mentioned that you know you could make say a placebo pill to take to help you with lucid dreaming and that would actually be very effective and I wanted to discuss this subject because a lot of people very very much misunderstand what placebo is you see when anyone talks about placebo you will almost always hear this one particular word before it you will almost always hear the word just before the word placebo you'll hear someone saying oh that was just placebo and this kind of gives the idea of placebo as being something imaginary when in actual fact that's not exactly how placebo works. So the basic idea of the placebo effect is that if you believe that something is going to have a particular effect on you, that it does actually have that effect. And what's also interesting about placebo is that even if someone knows that it is just a placebo, they will still get the effect from it. What a lot of people don't realise is that this isn't an imagined effect, this is actually a real effect. So for example, if someone takes a placebo medicine for something, they actually do experience a real decrease in their symptoms, not just an imagined one. And it is this distinction that makes placebo very, very valuable and also very, very misunderstood. Because if you do think that it's just something imagined, that placebo is just when you imagine something is working, uh, then that is completely misunderstanding what placebo is. And obviously you're not going to think that it has any use, because why would you bother just trying to imagine that something is working? That defeats the point. What's actually happening is that when you have placebo, an effect has been achieved, you're just not using the original thing that was meant to give that effect, you're just getting it for free from this thing called placebo. Now this effect isn't as strong as some you know, super powerful medicines or whatever, but it is actually pretty pretty powerful. To give you an idea of this, for example the common antidepressants that are out there only slightly outperform placebo, and these are strong medicines, and they only slightly do better than placebo does. You should really think about that, that tells you how powerful placebo itself is. So why are we not using this? Why are we not using placebo more often? And I'm glad that Dr. Keith Hearn actually brought this up in the talk because this is something that I believe very strongly in that we should be using this. Now, as you may know, if you've actually watched some other videos on my channel, I talk about a lot of interesting things that I like to explore that are a bit, you know, away from the mainstream. They're a bit weird and a bit strange, you know, things like magic, things like the law of attraction and so on. And I hear this all the time. I hear someone saying the words, you know, but it's just placebo. But when I hear that, you know, I think of something very, very different because to me, placebo is not something that is, you know, to be scoffed at, to, that, that it's just imaginary. Placebo is actually a very powerful effect, the effect of belief. And so if someone tells me, you know, it's just placebo for something like that, I will go, sure, I'm okay with that because placebo is, you know, very, very powerful. And now, um, I personally don't think that those things are just placebo. I think there is more going on there. Um, to do with psychological effects and so on and I will go into that in other videos in future um, but for now we're just talking about placebo and it is a major component of all of these kinds of things like hypnosis like the law of attraction like magic and so on there is a placebo component to them that actually gives them a lot of their power and it's not something that you know means that they should be ridiculed or that they should be ignored because placebo is very very powerful now placebos can be two kinds you can have a placebo that is just a complete placebo there is no effect from it you know uh, Someone gives you, for example, like a sugar pill and tells you that it's meant to uh, completely remove your headache or whatever. Um, or you can have a placebo that is an active placebo where you actually have something that kind of does the effect that you want, but it's just not strong enough to achieve it normally. And it's your belief that actually takes it, you know, the extra step and, and gets it to do what you want it to do. But how can we actually use placebo, you know, in our day-to-day -day lives? Well, you can do it any way you like, and you can actually borrow ideas from magic. In magic, you are trying to get an outcome by creating some kind of symbolic ritual to represent you know, your goal and making that happen and then setting it and forgetting it. And that's sort of how placebo works. You know, In the case of medicine, placebo is that you are given this object, that is the ritual, you're given this pill, you take it, and that is the ritual that convinces you that something is gonna happen. Now you would think that you need someone else to give this to you, but as we know, placebo works even if you're aware that it's placebo, so you can actually do it yourself. And so borrowing some ideas from magic, you can, for example, just get a bit of paper, write your goal on it, and believe that when you burn that bit of paper, your goal is going to come to fruition. Now, you have to remember that placebo isn't a magic cure. If it was, then we wouldn't make, you know, medicines, for example, we would just rely entirely on placebo. But it is still powerful. So 
For example, if you want to be, say, more confident, you have a, you know, a meeting that you have to go to and you just want to be more confident around the other people, you're normally not a people person and you just feel a bit nervous about it, you can just write on a bit of paper, I'm going to be confident at today's meeting and you can just tell yourself that you know, when you burn that paper, your confidence has increased and you can know that it's just placebo and you can still do it and burn it and when you burn that paper, your confidence is actually going to increase. It is as simple as that and you know, it feels a bit weird to do something like that. Yes, it feels a bit weird to do it but when it works, you know, why not? And it's not really costing you anything. You know, if you don't want to burn a bit of paper, you can do something else. You can just write on a bit of paper and tear it up or you can write in a notepad document and say that when you actually close a notepad document, it takes effect. Um, you can write on a bit of paper and scribble over it and say that when it's scribbled over, it takes effect. Whatever you want to do, it can be anything that you like that you just associate with that. You know, you can have a glass of water and you can say that that represents the effect that you want and when you drink it, it takes effect. Whatever you want to do, you can use that as a placebo. And you know, like I said, it's not a magic cure for everything, but it can give you a little bit of boost in certain areas, you know, if you want to feel less anxious or more confident, um, if you want to relieve some physical symptoms that you're going through, whatever it is that you want to do, you can try it out. You know, there's no harm of trying it out and you may find it actually works pretty well. So for example, since this channel, you know, talks a lot about lucid dreaming, if any of you guys have been trying to have a lucid dream and you haven't had one yet, I want you to actually try this out. I want you to get a bit of paper and I want you to write down I will lucid dream on it. And basically what this is going to do, you're going to tear this up, this bit of paper, and when you tear it up, it's going to take effect and it's going to mean that you're going to have a lucid dream soon. It is just placebo, and I'm telling you that it's just placebo. But as we know about placebo, even if you know it's placebo, it can still work. So I want you to try that, try it out, and also what I want you to do is I want you to bookmark this video, because what I would like to know is, you know, did this work for you? So I'd like you, if this works and you end up having a lucid dream, you know, within the next few weeks after doing this, I want you to come back to this video and I want you to post in the comments below that this worked for you, that you did the lucid dreaming thing and it worked for you. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed and if you did, remember to subscribe up there for more. And if you haven't, then check out my Patreon page. You can support the channel there. Or if you don't want to support the channel, you can just check out my posts I make there every week, you know, announcing what videos are going to be out and so on. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.